Alhamdulillah. So today, inshallah, we will start chapter 3, coordinate geometry. We have some formula. We need to study this formula. The first formula, if we have two points on a grid, how to find the midpoint? The point at the midway between them, or the halfway. I need to find the midpoint between two points on a grid. For example, this point negative two and one, and that point five and four, how to find the midpoint, the point at the middle. We have a formula for that one. Midpoint equal x1 plus x2 over two, y1 plus y2 over two. This is how to find the midpoint between two points, between two points. So we, uh, if we apply this formula for the, these two points, so x plus x, so negative 2 plus 5 over 2. y plus y, 1 plus 4 over 2. So negative 2 plus 5, 3, so 3 over 2, or 1.5. 1 plus 4, 5, 5 over 2, or 2.5. So the point, the coordinates for the point at the middle, 1.5 and 2.5. So if we have two points, and we need to find the, the point at the middle, or the midpoint, this is the formula. x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. The second formula, distance formula. To find the distance between two points. For example, if we have two points, x1, y1, and the second point, x2, y2, how to find the distance between them? We have this formula, d equals square root, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. If we apply this formula, we have point B and Q. Point B, 2, 3. Point Q, 1, 1. We need to find the distance between B and Q. So BQ equals square root x minus x. So 2 minus 1, all squared. Plus y minus y. So 3 minus 1, all squared. Then we can find the answer. Can you find the answer? 2 minus 1, 1, 1 squared equal 1. 2.236. Uh, isn't root 5? Because 3 minus 1, 2, 2 squared, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So root 5. Then we can find the approximated value for root 5, which is 2 point. Sorry? 2.236. 3, 6. Okay. The third formula today, how to find the slope of a line. Slope formula. If you have two points on the line, x1, y1, x2, y2, we can find the slope for this line. The slope or the gradient of the line represents the steepness of the line. If it is positive, the line goes up from left to the right. If it's negative, it goes down. If it is zero, parallel to x-axis, horizontal if it's undefined barren to y-axis. So the slope represents the steepness of the line. How to find the slope of the line? We have a formula. If you have two points on the line, you can find the slope of the line. Slope, if you have two points, x1, y1, x2, y2, so the slope of the line, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We can start from this point or that one, but if you start for y, from this point, you should start for, for x from the same point. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Or a change in y over a change in x. Okay? This is how to find the slope of the line. Or you can find rise over run. Rise over run. This distance over that one. Now the main, the main equation of this chapter, equation of the straight line. Okay, equation of the straight line. How to find the equation of the straight line? The equation of the straight line, the standard form for the equation of the straight line, y equal mx plus b. m stand for the slope or the gradient of the line, b y intercept, or this means where the line crosses the y axis. Where the line crosses the y axis. And slope represent uh, the slope of the line. Okay, so y equal mx plus b. 
This is the general, the standard form for the equation of the line. M for the slope, B for Y intercept. We have a special case for equation of the line. If the line vertical, so it's equation X equal number, so X equal A. Okay? If the line vertical, so it's equation X equal 1, X equal 2, X equal negative 1, negative 2. If the line horizontal, it's equation y equal number, so y equal 1, y equal 7, y equal 5. Okay? B represents the y-intercept, and for the vertical line, A represents x-intercept. Also, you should know that if you have parallel lines, like L1 and L2, if you have parallel lines, so they have the same gradient, same slope. So the slope of the first line equals the slope of the second line. So the parallel lines have same gradient. Parallel lines have same gradient. So if L1 parallel to L2, this means M1 equals M2. But if they are perpendicular, intersect at right angle, if they are perpendicular, so what is the relation between their slopes? M1 equal negative one over M2. Or you can say that M1 times M2 equals negative 1 uh, for example if m1 is 5 so m2 is negative 1 over 5 if they are perpendicular if m1 is 3 over 4 so m2 negative reciprocal which is negative 4 over 3 okay and so on if m1 is negative half so M2, just flip the fraction and you change the sign, so will be 2. Or divide negative 1 by M1 to find M2. This if they are perpendicular lines. No more rules, you can start to solve now. Number 1, the point A has coordinates negative 4 and 6, and the point B has coordinates 7 and negative 2. Calculate the length of the line AB. I need the distance of AB. We have a formula for the distance. AB equals square root x minus x, so negative 4 minus 7, all squared, plus y minus y, so 6 minus negative 2, all squared x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared so so 13 approximately 13.6 2 can you read a figure? a and b and negative 2 are two points find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line ab okay how to find the midpoint we have a rule for the midpoint what is the formula for the midpoint x1 plus x2 over 2 y1 plus y2 over 2 so 5 plus negative 2 over 2 23 plus 2 over 2 so we can find the answer 5 minus plus negative 2 so 3 over 2 or 1.5 23 so 25 over 2 now, can you find the equation of line AB? Equation of the line AB. The general form for the equation of the line Y equal MX plus B. B stands for the gradient of the line or the slope of the line and B Y intercept where the line intersect Y axis. We have the two points. So we can find the slope of the line. So the slope of the line or M equal the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 2 minus 23 over negative 2 minus 5, which is negative 21 over negative 7, so 3. So the gradient or the slope of the line equals 3. Now how to find b or y-intercept? You can write just substitute by m so y equals 3x plus b 3x plus b 
To find B, you have two points. You can substitute by any one of them to find B. We can substitute by the point 5 and 23. Both x equal 5 and y equal 23. Then you can find B. So 23 equals 3 into 5, which is 15, plus B. So 23 equals 15 plus B. So B equals 23 minus 15, which is A. Now the equation for the line Y equal 3X plus 8. Understood how to find the equation for the line? Yes, sir. <coughs> Next one, read number FIFA. The diagram shows a straight line L, which passes through the points 0, 3, and 411. Find the equation of uh, line L in the form Y equals MFC. I need the equation for that line. We have two points. And this is the general form for the equation. So how to find the equation for the line? Yes. So the general form y equal mx plus c. C or b, no difference. C or b stand for the y-intercept. Now how to find m? You have two points. So y minus y, 11 minus 3. Over x minus x, 4 minus 0. So m equal 11 minus 3 over 4 minus 0, which is 8 over 4, which is 2. After you find the gradient, write the equation for the line. y equal 2x plus c. Now how to find c? Select. Uh, sir, we substitute the, the points. Uh, we so, have, uh, c means what? Or um, C uh, means what? Y. Y intercept. Now look for the line. You can deduce the Y intercept. You have the Y intercept on the line. Y intercept means intersection with Y axis. This line intersects Y axis at 3. So C equals 3. So you don't need to substitute for this one. Okay? So because Y intercept equals 3, so Y equals 2X plus 3. If you substitute, you get the same answer. But you don't need because you have Y intercept. Because Y intercept means what? Where the line intersect y axis at 3, so c equals 3. Sometimes c or b, no difference. Okay? Now, b, line b is perpendicular to line n. Write down the gradient of line b. For line n, the gradient is 2. Am I right? Now, for line B, the gradient is what? They are perpendicular. Negative 1 over 2. Because this is like 2 over 1. So flip the fraction and change the sign. To find the gradient of the perpendicular, flip the fraction, if you have fraction, and change the sign. So negative 1 over 2. So the gradient for line B is negative 1 over 2. Number four, Salak. Uh, the two lines y equals 2x plus 8 and y equals 2x minus 12 intersect the x axis at P and Q. What, uh, work out the distance PQ. Okay. So for the first line, y equals 2x plus 8. To find the intersection with x axis, x any point belongs to x axis, y equals 0. Any point belongs to x axis, y equals 0. So both y equals 0. If y equals 0, so 0 equals to x plus 8. So you can solve for x. So 2x equals negative 8. Divide by 2, so x equals negative 4. Okay? So now the point negative 4 and 0. The same for the second line, y equal to x minus 12. To find the intersection with x axis, put y equal 0. Okay? If y equal 0, this means 2x minus 12 equals 0. So 2x equals 12, divide by 2, so x equals 6. So the point is 6 and 0. Now we need to find the distance between them. 
two lines intersect x axis at B and Q. I, uh, I need the distance between B and Q, between negative four and six. We have x axis, we have two points, this negative four and zero, and the other one, six and zero. We need the distance between them. We know that we have zero here. So the distance between zero and negative four, which is four, the distance between zero and six, which is six. So four plus six equal 10. Or you can use the distance formula. But because this on both uh, points and on x axis, so we can deduce directly. <laughs> or six minus negative four. Six minus negative four. Because in the same line, or you can use the distance formula to get the same answer, which is negative four, six minus negative four, all squared and zero minus zero, to get the same answer, which is 10. So to find the intersection with x axis, but y equals zero. Also to find the intersection with y axis, but x equal. Now for b, write down the equation of the line with the gradient negative four, Passing through the point zero five. Yes, I to write the equation for the line. So the equation for the line. Y equal to 4X plus yes, y equal negative four x plus c, but we can deduce c because because x zero, so this means c is five. Because if you have point zero and number zero and five, so this means this is the intersection with y axis because x is zero, intersection with y axis. So y intercept is five now. You don't need to substitute. So y, the equation for the line y equal negative four x plus five. Negative four x plus five. Now for c, find the equation of the line parallel to the line in part, in, in part B, passing through the point five and four. So parallel means semi-gradient. So the gradient of the line in part B is negative four, so M is negative four. So the equation Y equal negative four X plus C. How to find C? Substitute. By the point five and four. So put X is five and y is 4 so 4 equals negative 4 into 5 plus c so 4 equals negative 20 plus c so c equals negative 20 plus so 4 24 so now the equation for the line y equal negative 4 x plus 24 okay number 5 read seven find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line joining a minus negative a to uh, 3 and b negative 2 negative 3 okay so the midpoint we have our formula for the midpoint negative a plus negative 2 over 2 3 plus negative 3 over 2 so Negative 8 plus negative 2, negative 10, over 2, so negative 5. 3 plus negative 3 is 0, 0 over 2 equals 0, so negative 5 and 0. B, the line y equal 4x plus c, but it's through the point 2 and 6. Find the value of c. You can substitute to find the value of c, because x2 and y6 y equal 4 x plus c and you have the point 2 and 6, six belongs equals. so put x equal 2 and y equal 6 to find c so 6 equals uh, 4 multiplied 2 plus c uh, so 6 equals 8 plus c and we move 8 to the other side so c equals negative 2 yes yeah, so c is negative 2 okay read uh, c Lines 5x equal to 4y plus 10 and 2y equal to kx minus 4 are parallel. Find value of k. Yes, how to find k? Make y the subject. Yes, to make, to find the, the gradient for each line, make y is the subject. 
So 5x equals 4y plus 10. To find the gradient for the line, make y the subject. So you 10 go to the other side, transpose to the other side by negative. So 5x minus 10 equals 4y. Now we divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. So y equals 5 over 4x minus 10 over 4. I need the gradient, the gradient, so you can rewrite y equal 5 over 4x minus 10 over 4. So now y is the subject, so the coefficient of x is the gradient. So the gradient for this line is 5 over 4. By the same way, the second line 2y equal kx minus 4. To find the gradient for this line, make y the subject. We have 2y, so you need to divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So y equals k over 2 into x minus 4 over 2, which is 2. So the gradient is the coefficient of x. So the gradient is k over 2. They are parallel lines, so they are equal, same gradient. So we can deduce that 5 over 4 equals k over 2 you can cross multiply so 4k equals 2 times 5 which is 10 divide by 4 divide by 4 or k equal 10 over 4 which is 2.5 okay number 6 a is the point negative 2 and b is the point 04 find the equation of the straight line during a okay so you have the two points you need to find the gradient. How to find the uh, equation for the line? How to find the equation for the line? Uh, you need to find the gradient first. M equal 4 minus 0, y minus y, over x minus x, 0 minus negative 2. So equals 4 over 2, which is 2. So the gradient is 2. Next. You can write the equation now. Y equal to X plus C. To find C, do you have C? C is the Y intercept. We have C now. Because the point zero and four, zero and four, if you have X equal zero, so this is what C. Okay, zero and four, so C is four, Y intercept. So now C is four, so Y equals two X plus four. This is the equation for the line. Find the equation of the perpendicular by sector of AB. The, this is important. How to find the equation of the perpendicular by sector of AB? We find the gradient of AB, am I right? Gradient of AB is what? It's two. Okay? So the gradient of the perpendicular, negative reciprocal, two, this means 2 over 1, so flip the fraction and they change the sign. So negative 1 over 2. Negative 1 over 2. So the equation for the perpendicular, the equation of the perpendicular line, y equal negative 1 over 2x plus c. But to find c, we need point on the line. Look, imagine that you have a and b. I need the equation of the perpendicular by sector. So perpendicular means right angle. By sector means bus through the midpoint. So the point we need to find at, um, to get C is the midpoint. So we need to find the midpoint because this is the perpendicular by sector. This is the perpendicular by sector. So I need to find this point, which is the midpoint of A and B. So we need to find the midpoint. So the midpoint of A and B, uh, we have A, negative 2, 0, 0, 4, negative 2, 0, 0, 4. So now x plus x, so negative 2 plus 0 over 2, y plus y, so 0 plus 4 over 2. So negative 2 plus 0, negative 2 over 2, so negative 1 and 2. 
From the midpoint, we can substitute in this equation of the perpendicular to get C. So now 2 equal negative 1 over 2 into negative 1 plus C. So 2 equals half plus C. So C equal 2 minus half, which is 3 over 2. So the equation for the line y equal negative 1 over 2x plus negative 1 over 2x plus 3 over 2.